Well, I mean, I think there's a difference between revolution and electoral political struggle. And most of the stuff that we're seeing in Madison and Ohio, Indiana, are going to, a lot of it is going to be an electoral political movement, which is just as necessary because it's obvious we have not only Republicans, but also a Democratic leadership for the most part that has sold out the interests of working class people. Not but in Wisconsin. This, but not in Wisconsin. But really, those Democrats should have left. That's your job. When, you're, when your constituents are saying, we're not going to go as normal, then it is your job as that senator or legislative to go with the people. So as much credit as I give to these brave Democrats who are facing arrests, that's what they should do. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's in the tradition of what we call activist politicians, what we need now. It's in the tradition of Abraham Lincoln. But when we talk about Lincoln, revolution, we also have to understand that revolutions can be bloody that people in Egypt died, that people in Libya are dying. And, you know, we don't have that same type of revolutionary struggle happening in America, but yet we need to engage in the streets. And one of the things that, for me, look, when you, when you have a disconnect with how particularly organizers begin to see police as their friend, when in communities of color, police are really never their friend. The conversation that a lot of young people of color are having, too, is what if that was thousands of black and Latino poor people had taken over the Capitol? Would the police have been as nice? That doesn't mean you stop movement. That means that this movement requires a racial justice analysis with so social justice values, which I think would then set off a movement in every state that is about to go through this same type mm. of attack, whether it's teachers being attacked austerity budgets putting into place, this is going to happen everywhere. So I think it just requires a better analysis of how particularly working class poor people fit in. Enjoy Grit TV? Want more people to see it? Well, we are making our show available free to public television stations. We need your help to express your opinion. If you'd like to see the show where you live on public television, call your local station and ask for Grit TV with Laura Flanders.